Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If you not just subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this module, we are going to discuss construct class intervals and frequencies for the following distribution table. Also to the argue curves for the same. So what is meant by argue curves? The curves which is joined by hand. So argue curves means. So before this module, we'll construct curves for the mid values, frequency, polygons. Argue curves means. The points joined by hand. Points joined by hand. This is argued curves. The curves which are formed from less than cumulative frequencies and greater than cumulative frequencies. So let's take here. So marks obtained. So we have to find the class intervals. How means? So less than five. It will be zero to five and less than ten. So for this frequency is 2, less than 1 will be 5 to 10. Why? Because fewer, less than 5 means why we are taking 0 to 5 is exclusive class intervals. Upper limits will be going to remove, that is excluded from the class intervals. So less than 15, that is also 10 to 15, like that it is there. Then these are the class intervals to front. Next one, what is there? That is S. So here you can write scale. Scale is equal to x axis will be equal to marks up change that is class interval that is marks up change marks up change next y axis will be equal to y axis 1 centimeter will be equal to here also 1 centimeter will be equal to then what you can take number of students that is you can take 10 so 10 number of students so actually y-axis we are going to take 10 cumulative frequencies 10 cumulative frequencies then while going to check 10 cumulative frequencies or 10 students you can take like that 10 students so you can take like that also so here, before going to that, we have to check the class intervals and frequencies. We need to find the what are the lower boundaries and upper boundaries. So here, lower boundary is there. This is zero. So what is lower boundary? This is zero. This is upper boundary is five. Then lower boundary is five. Upper boundary is ten. Why? Because in exclusive class intervals, this is exclusive class intervals. In that lower boundary will be lower limit and upper limit. These are will be equal to lower boundary and upper boundaries. So 10, 15, then 15, then 20, then 20, 25. So actually here while calculating less than cumulative frequencies, we need to take the highest value will be down. So from top to down, we need to add frequencies that is. 2 will be 2 only, then 2 plus 8 will be, so this value will be added to this 10, then 10 plus 18, 28, then 28 plus 27 will be equal to 55, then 55 plus 35, 55 plus 35 will be equal to 90. So these are the less than cumulative frequencies values. So 90 is there here, last class interval. But greater than cumulative frequency from top to down added. So greater than cumulative frequency from down to top we need to add. So 35 as it is, 35 only. Then 35 plus 27. 35 plus 27. What is that is? 35 plus 27 will be 62. Then 62 plus... 18 we need to add so 18 then 62 plus 18 will be so what you'll get 80 then 80 plus 8 that will be equal to 88 then 88 plus 2 will be equal to 90 so highest value will be there here in first class intervals so while constructing Argue curves less than cumulative frequency means for this we need to 
take care about upper boundaries. So we need to construct with upper boundaries. If you go with greater than cumulative frequencies, we have to check lower limits. So this is the case. So lower limits and upper limits, upper uh, less than cumulative frequencies and upper boundaries. So actually here we will go less than cumulative frequencies we need to construct. So less than cumulative frequency we need to take care about we need to take care that which value less than means upper bound. So upper boundary values we have to take care. So let's take upper boundary values will be so 0 to 5 first class to true 1. So upper boundary. So what is that? 0 to 5? 2. So where is that 2? So 0 to 5. What is the less than cumulative frequency? 2. So from here 2. So this value we will get. Then from 5 to 10. What is that? 10. 5 to 10 will be 10. Then 10 to 15, 28. From 10 to 15, 28. So this is 20 up to last 3. So 10 to 15, 28. Then 22, 20 to 25, that is 10 to 15 is that one. Then so before going to that, we have to check then 20. So, upper boundary is 20, right? So, for 10, 15 to 20, 55. So, here 50, then middle. So, here upper boundaries we are writing. So, I am taking care about upper boundaries. So, here upper boundaries. Then 20 to 25, upper boundary is 90. 20 to 25, upper boundary is 90 here. Then, what is the frequency curve? Which one we will get? So, join from 0, so we are joining like this, so I am giving double coding for that, why it will be, looks good, if you take double coatings, it will be good to see you. So let's rounding off again one time. So these are the values, upper boundary values, weights along with what? What is that? So what is that values? These are upper boundary values. Then this is cumulative frequencies, less than cumulative frequency values. Like this we need to construct. Scale already we are written. In this, we are going to construct greater than cumulative frequencies or give curves. So, for this, which type of boundary you have to take care of is lower boundary. So, lower boundaries we have to take care. So, first class interval, what is the lower boundary? That is 0 to 5. So, what is the value of greater than cumulative frequency? So, let's check here. Greater than cumulative frequencies. So, what is the first value? The first value is 90. So, 90, 88, 80, 60 to 35 like that. So, first value is 90. So, mark at 0. So, lower boundary is 0. This one. Next value. 5 is the lower limit. That is lower boundary 88. So, at 5, 88. We will get here. So, 88 is there. Then, for third class interval, 10 is the lower boundary. So for that 80 or 10, 80. Then at 15, 15, 20, 62. So at 15, 62. So 60 after 2. So this is greater than cumulative frequencies or you curse. Then 60, 2 over, then 20 to 25, 35. So 20 to 25 at 20 we need to get at 20 lower limit we need to get 35. So at 35. So this is the curve which we require. So let's join all this. 
So join this one, we will get graph like this. So what is this occult curves? So if you highlighted these points 90, then 88, then 80, then 62, then 35. So this is greater than cumulative frequency. Like this we need to construct. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.